and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really exciting because I got my hands on the new Just Peachy Matte Palette by Too Faced. Now, as you guys know, I was obsessed with the Too Faced Tweak Peach Palette. A while ago, I created a Too Looks One palette using that, which I will link it down below. But now Too Faced released a new peach-inspired collection called Peaches and Cream, which includes a lot of face products, lip products, and also a matte eyeshadow palette. I decided for now to only try out the peach palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside, and this is the look I created using the palette. So as you guys can see, the palette comes with 12 shades, it is all matte, and there is one shade called Peach Sangria, this one right here that has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it doesn't really translate on the eyes as a shimmery shade, so it comes with 12 matte eyeshadows, and compared to the Sweet Peach palette, this one is definitely more peachy. All of these shades are peachy related, which is amazing. I love peachy eyeshadow looks. So yeah, this palette is also perfect for the fall time, it is very versatile. And I think the quality is amazing. It's very comparable to the Sweet Peach palette. So if you like that one, you will definitely love this palette as well. The palette retails for 45 US dollars or 55 Canadian dollars, which is on the pricier side, but it's Too Faced. You pay for the brand, you pay for the packaging. Um, but I personally think this palette is totally worth it. I had no troubles blending these eyeshadows onto my lids. Okay, so before jumping into this tutorial, if you're not already, you can always hit that subscribe button down below. And whilst you're at it, you can also hit the bell next to it. And without rambling on, if you want to know how to get this look using your new Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Eyeshadow Palette, then definitely just keep on watching. Okay, so to speed up this video, I am already wearing my base eyeshadow primer and brows. So that is something we don't have to worry about anymore. All right, so for the eyes, of course, I'm using my Too Faced uh, Just Peachy Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is from the Peaches and Cream collection, and it is brand, brand, brand new. So first to set that eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the shade Peach Meringue, which is this one right here. So for my transition shade, I'm going to use Peach Tea and buff it into my crease. Okay, so next I'm using the shade Fresh Picked and I'm going to use this to darken up the crease even more. And then to blend everything together, I'm going to go in with my transition brush without any additional product and make sure that everything looks nice and blended. Might actually even pick up a little bit more and add that to the upper crease area. To darken up my outer V, I'm going to use the shade Just Ripe and of course pack it on in the outer V. Okay, so this is what the crease is looking like right now. And then on my actual eyelids, I'm going to apply the shade Peaches and Cream, which is this one right here. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of Just Ripe, the darker shade, so that I can blend the two shades together. All right. And then I use my fingertips to make sure that there are no harsh edges. And just because I don't think the look looks peachy enough, I'm going to apply just peachy in my crease to blend everything one last time. Then highlighting my brow bone, I'm going back in with peach meringue and applying it underneath my eyebrows, just like that. For my lower lash shot, I'm going to apply just ripe really close to my waterline. And I'm blending out with peach tea, which was our initial transition shade. So before finishing off my eyes, I'm going to move on to the face. For my contour, I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. This is just a sample size. For bronzer, I'm using my Milani 04 Glow Baked Bronzer. Alright, moving on to blush, I'm using my Butter Blush by Physicians Formula and this is in the shade Plum Rose, so I'm going to just pop this on my cheekbones. Alright, and then for highlight, I'm going in with my Milani Strobe Light Day Glow Instant Glow Powder. This and my Colourpop highlighter are one of the best affordable highlighters that I've tried so far. This one is beautiful. And I'm also going to apply this one in my inner corners. Okay, so before moving on to mascara, I'm going to set my makeup in place using my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. 
Okay, for mascara, I'm going to use my favorite one that I've discovered lately, and this is the Marcel Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I raved about this in my... How did I rave about this? Oh, in my first impressions video. This is amazing. So I'm going to use this mascara today. I'm going to do most of it off camera, because you already know I suck at applying mascara on camera, but I will give it a try. Alright, so my camera shut off on me, but I applied my mascara off camera. I'm so sorry, but this is the finished eye look. Alright, so now moving on to lips. I'm first going to line my lips using my Catrice Lip Foundation Pencil. And this is in the shade Caramel Blonde to go. And then to top it all off, I'm going to apply some of my Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Papadon Peach. This is a gorgeous peach lip gloss that was part of their last uh, Sweet Peach collection. So of course I had to use it in today's video. Alright, and this is the finished makeup look. Okay guys, and that completes this makeup look. I love how the look came out. This palette is absolutely amazing. Get it if you can get your hands on it and if you have the budget for it, because I do think the shades are beautiful. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please do so by hitting the button right down below. And thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your busy days to watch my video. I really hope I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.